Hello and welcome to the It's Raining Grass podcast. My name is Raina and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry under SF Chick. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, 2016. It's a Tuesday. This is episode 32, if I didn't um, tell you already. Um, pardon me while I'm looking at my notes on my iPad. I didn't have my um, notes up. So, I hope that you are all doing well and that you had a wonderful week. Yeah, last week was kind of tense because of the election. No matter what side you're on, you know, you're either really happy or you're, re- <laughs> you're kind of like me saying, what happened, you know, oh my god, so, anyway, um, this week is a busy week, and Friday's my mother-in-law's birthday, so we are going out to lunch to a place called Shady Maple, it's a big smorgasbord place, I don't think that I've ever been to one, so, um, That'll be quite interesting to be at when I um when we go on Friday. We are I'm going with my sister in law and my grandmother in law, so it'll be just the four girls and the guys can stay at home and do their thing. <laughs> but um anyway And then yesterday was my wedding anniversary, seven happy years, happy anniversary to my husband, Dave. We, um, we spent the day together, but he was sick, so, um, we didn't get to go out to lunch or do anything, um, while I was, while I was at my in-laws, but. You know, we were together, and that's what's important on my wedding anniversary to me, is that we are together. So, um, and then, I have a trip coming up next week. I am going to see my mother for Thanksgiving. I am flying the day before Thanksgiving, and um, I will be back the following week, but I can, you know, I, I'm very excited, I'm always, I'm always excited to fly, you know, because I like, once you get, once you get through the TSA, everything's like a piece of cake after that, it's just, get a little nervous flying, and so, anyway, That is what is up for this week, and I was going to save that for the last, the final, um, the end of the podcast, but it really wasn't working out, because this is like the tenth time I wasn't counting how many times I had to start this over today. So why don't we get into what I'm knitting? So today, it's kind of chilly outside, so I'm wearing my sweater from Hannah Fettig, my contented Cardi, and I'm wearing my barley hat by Tin Can Knits because my hair is just like whoosh. It's just like standing up all over the place. And um, so my finished object for this week is Henry's hat. It is not finished finished it is, the knitting is finished. The ends need to be woven in, and uh, buttons need to be put on, but I'm making three of these for the boys in my family. We have three of them. We have a nine-year-old, we have a six-year-old, and we have a three-year-old. So this is for the nine-year-old, and I started knitting this for my son, the six-year-old, but no, Cammie's four now, 
sorry. Um, so I started knitting this one for my son, my six-year-old, and um, then I, when I went to go, because in the pattern it tells you, it walks you through how to set up for the decreases. So as I was going through the setup for the decreases, I had six extra stitches for the hat. And I'm like, I need to go see Lisa again because this is, this didn't turn out right. So I came home, I was on my way home that night and I thought for a minute, I'm like, well, maybe if I count my stitches, I'll have enough for the large hat. So I came home and I, and I did what I usually do when I came home. So I, when I finally sat down, I said, I pulled out the hat and I counted all the stitches and I had 90. Well, According to the pattern, the large size, you need 90 stitches. So that was perfect because I'm like, I was making, I need to make two of the medium size and one of the large size. So this turned out to be for my older nephew. And I was very careful this time because if you remember last, last week when I was talking about this, on my youngest nephew's hat, I messed up the decreases. So I ripped all the decreases out, and I can't figure out where I'm at now on the decreases. But this one's for Tucker, and I was, you know, I know now that when I do DPNs, on a hat, I need to have a table in front of me and I need to sit there and be very careful when I'm decreasing because, because I am not very good on DPNs. I started out on DPNs and then they were kind of fiddly, so I went to circulars. And now I know. I know when I do this pattern again, I know right where I need to transfer to my DPNs because I have it written down. So anyway, that's my finished object. And I was almost finished with my mother-in-law's socks that I was going to give to her on Friday for her birthday, but I flubbed those too. And I will tell you later. So why don't we get into what I'm working on? So the first project right here is in my Double Double bag by Chicken Boots. I love this bag. Um, I was going through my stash and I found some Knit Picks Felici. This is, the, this is Knit Picks Felici. This reminds me of Easter. I wound this up in Easter, around Easter, and I was going to cast these on, but now, because of the, I'm not saying, I'm not blaming that election on my depression, but I was just struggling. So I casted these on, and I'm doing them two at a time via tandem, but last night I, um, Finished my cuff on the one sock. So here it is. It's blues and pinks and it's going into the purple. And um, I think I'm going to do Hermione's Everyday Socks because I need a pattern and past the other two socks that I'm working on are vanilla. So I need to break up the monotony and do that. So that is my election depression socks. I called them on Ravelry. And I think that I will be taking these when I go 
go visit my mother next week so I can work on the plane on them. So the next pair of socks that I'm working on are for my friend Krista. Um, sorry, that was my email that came through. So these are Happy Feet, Plymouth Happy Feet in the color 27 colorway. I don't remember where I was last week when I showed you, but I completed my heel, my flap, and my turn, and now I'm on the gusset. So I, I, um, counted today how many stitches I have to go down. So this is my little cheat sheet when I um, do decreases because I have to write I have to write DK, decrease knit decrease knit I just abbreviate them as DK 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 so I know what row I'm on so I did a knit row to count how many stitches I needed the first time but now I'm now I know when I get to 64. So I'm doing these in tandem again. Um, I probably won't take these when I go to visit my mother. Um, and the next project that I'm working on is my sock head hat. I was wearing my other sock head hat in the previous one, but um, it made my hair look a little wonky today, so I switched it up to the barley. So this is um, Ba Savannah in the frozen colorway because when I got I got this yarn from my Fiber Issa Club. And um, here it is. It's about four inches. I have about four inches. I'm almost at five. So um, I think this will be a good plane project when I'm when I'm flying because if I if I complete if I complete this part, then I all I can do is knit 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 knit, knit until I reach my think on my other sock head I knitted until I got to 10 or 9 whatever it really really doesn't matter so I put my DPN my little suburban stitcher needle minder my um pumpkin spice latte. I thought it was so cute. I had to order one. So, um, that's, that's the third project that I'm working on. The fourth project will be Henry's Hat for Cal. I decided that, um, when I, my mother's like, bring the project with you so you can work on it. It's like, no. It's too fiddly, and I really don't want to work on something that will cause me anxiety when I'm on the plane. So that's why I'm sticking to my Hermione and my sock head hat right now. And um, the next one that I'm working on, well... I cast it on two projects that I'm taking two hats and two pairs of socks. So if I finish said hat and said sock, I have another hat and sock to um, work on because that'll be easy and that'll be simple. This is, and um, so I'm. 
looking very forward to visiting my mother and seeing our friends and spending time with the dogs and going shopping because in the because my mother my mother is taking the election harder than I am and I'm the I'm the bigger I'm the bigger nerd compared to both of us so I just it's like a role reversal so um then the um let's go in the want wah want wah is a segment that I created when my projects go wah wah when I flub on them so these are my mother-in-law's socks that I did that I'm doing for her for her birthday but when I saw her yesterday and I showed her her socks I'm losing stitches right now so so she I you could clearly see so here's the one sock you see the toe goes I did them cut down you see the toe you see how it goes in like this it's because I did it correctly it's because I did four decreases like you're supposed to do on the toe so I did that and then I think that I was working on these on Wednesday when I was watching <laughs> When I was obsessed with the news on Wednesday morning, waiting for concession speeches and and um, Obama's speech, so this is the second sock. You see where I started to do the decreases right here, or yeah, I'll turn around. So I started to do the decrease right here and um, I'm like my stitches aren't turning out right why isn't it turning out right then I was like oh just let let it go and so I realized this holder the this is the instep so I wasn't decreasing on the instep stitches. I was just decreasing on the side stitches. So tomorrow, I'm going to go see Lisa anyway. Because she needs to help me with my nephew's hat. Because last week I told you that I flubbed it. So, and... So she's going to um, help me if um, Lisa is the owner of my local yarn store. She she runs Uncommon Threads in um, York on I want to say East Earl. It's on it's on Haynes Road now in East York over by Walmart. So um. My mother-in-law and I both have flubs, so we're going to go see Lisa tomorrow. So, um, let's see. I I did that, and I'll take that tomorrow. But I'm really excited. I I'm always excited about when I get to go to California. I you know, like I said, it's 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 like smooth sailing once you get through security because you just sit there and you wait and like me, if you're like me, you sit there and you knit. My my friend said to me, she's never flown before, 
So she said to me, what are you going to do for those three hours in D.C.? I said, I'm going to get off the plane. I'm going <laughs> to go use the facilities, get something to eat, go to my gate, and sit in net. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what we do. So I'm just taking the Hermione socks out of the Nitpix Felici. And then I'm taking my sock head hat, and I'll work on those two on the way out to um, California. And then on the way back, I'll um, if I finish the Felici socks, which I probably, I don't know. I tend to focus more on my projects when I don't have them all in front of me. So, um, I wound up in the second set of 50, um, gram balls that I will, that I will, um, use when, when I'm flying back. I have a 6 a.m. flight back and then I have a 2 o'clock flight. From here, it's always easier if I take the the um, early flight back home because now that my son is in kindergarten, I was looking at flights. I'm like, well, when because my 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 in laws pick up my son from kindergarten with my son, with my husband, and then they can they can come straight to the airport and pick me up so um that's that's the way it works and one more thing is that the craft show started at the uh, bread line bread bread bed bed and breakfast and um i'm a crafter my number is 834 if you're in if you happen to be around york red lion is not too far away it's like I want to say 20 minutes away and um, it's it's a whole house filled with crafts I mean there's there's everything that you could possibly imagine that's in that house and um, I I had about I submitted about 10 hats this year I have submitted more hats than cows. So, um, per my brother-in-law's suggestion, he's like, I need more hats. So that's, that's what I was focusing on. So next year, if I knit, if I knit something and it, and I don't, and I don't really wear it or will not really wear it or give it to somebody who won't really wear it, then it'll go in the box. So, um, oh, and yesterday, um, I got my Fiber East yarn from my Fiber East Sock Club in Chicago. So, I got this lovely, luscious chartreuse, Granny Smith, apple green, whatever you want to call it. It's knitted wet in her Victory Sock. She calls it Golden Delicious. And it's 8020 Superwash Merino in nylon. It's about 420 yards. And I opened it and I was like, oh! Because if I didn't, if I didn't already have a pair of socks that I was working on, I would definitely, definitely cast this on. But I have to restrain myself because if I have. One too many projects, I get overwhelmed. So, I talked for about 25 minutes, and I hope that you all have a good week, and a good Thanksgiving if I don't get to talk to you, and I will talk to you when I come back. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.